Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to a very special Thanksgiving episode. That's right. I am going to be celebrating Thanksgiving and uh, I'm going to be celebrating Thanksgiving with Christian this year. Yay! We got a little pet, right? Little pet Caesar. We call, we call him Little Caesar, all right? But that's our little little guy here, all right? A little inside look at our, our life. But anyway, so yeah, we're here um, uh, decorating the tree. Um, it's already, uh, yeah, Thanksgiving time. So, you know, close enough for, for Christmas decorating. I know, I know. There's a lot of heretics out there that say we're decorating too early. But, hey, whatever. We're, we're, we're in the Christmas spirit. Sue us. So, um, all right. So, but, but anyways, uh, so, yeah, this is a Thanksgiving episode. And, uh, yeah, today we're just going to have a little bit of a Thanksgiving dinner. This is the first time that Christian, right? The primera the, vez. The, uh, it's the first time Christian. <laughs> First time Christians ever had a Thanksgiving, and the first time Lambos had a Thanksgiving. So the first first time Thanksgiving for for both of them, and uh, this is my 38th Thanksgiving in a row. <laughs> it's a lot of Thanksgivings, but uh, yeah, you know. So we're gonna celebrate. So let me show you what we're up to. Let me let me show you what we're gonna cook. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a meal for me and her. All right. It's just uh. So what we got is um, we got ourselves a little bit of a organic chicken locally um locally at the local walmart <laughs> and then uh and so then we also have um these apples over here i got some flour i got some baking powder i got sugar i got butter i got a few ingredients there and um i'm gonna be making an apple cobbler so she's excited about that i'm excited about that she's never had apple cobbler look at that. she's all excited over there look at her and then uh we have um so there's no stove top stuffing here, so I bought me some toasted bread, okay? I got me some some nuts and some uh, raisins and all, got, all kinds of good stuff. I got me some onion soup, okay? Hold on. You know, I got me some Italian herbs and seasonings, all right? Which I'm gonna be using, you know, for a lot of things out here today for Thanksgiving, because this is as close as I can get the Thanksgiving uh, you know spices out here but anyways i'm gonna make me some stuffing and i got some ground beef inside the fridge and so i'm gonna mix all that together and make some badass stuffing i'm still undecided on whether i'm gonna stuff the bird or not but probably not so in here i got this is the, this is the only sweet potato i could find i'm surprised i even found the sweet potato so i'm gonna roast this bad boy and then i'm gonna figure out what i'm gonna do with this guy i might make a little bit of a sweet potato casserole so she can have some sweet potato casserole. Mac and cheese. This is, again, the best we could kind of find and do. It's just for me and her, you know. So we got some little mac and cheese action there. We got some gravy. Look, again, I can't believe I found all this stuff. We got some gravy. Look at that. We got some mashed potatoes. The reason I was going to make fresh mashed potatoes, but we Walmart and we were at Walmart and we were just like last minute. And, um, you know, the, I don't know if you guys remember from my Instagram stories, the potatoes at Walmart are bad i'm hoping this guy's good i think he's good i hope he's good all right and then uh and then we got the bird you already know we got the bird over here you already saw the bird you got people texting me um but then that's it that's it you know so then uh what else we got hold on oh yeah that's right that's right we got some libations all right that's right mm. so you know uh so what we're gonna be doing today is I'm just gonna be showing you a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit of a cooking episode. Uh, so as I cook, I'm gonna see if I can film it. We're gonna put it all together and then uh, we'll show you the end result at the end of the episode. So um, I hope you guys are enjoying so far the first few minutes and I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the insanity while you're hanging out on Thanksgiving uh, waiting for your own turkey to you know, get ready and eat because I'm sure you guys are hungry and you guys are just there you know, waiting for for your own Thanksgiving dinner. So in the meantime, you can watch me make my Thanksgiving dinner and um, yeah, I hope hopefully have some fun with that. All right guys, so uh, without further ado, let's uh, get to the kitchen, let's get to cooking. All right guys, so the first thing we gotta do is that we gotta season this bird. So uh, what we got is that we got some uh, yebas a la italiana, which is uh, I guess like Italian herbs and seasoning, but it has things like uh, savory, and um, what else is in here? Oregano and uh, ro uh, oh yeah, and um, things like rosemary. So 
Mmm. If you can smell, can you smell that? Mmm. Look at that. It looks pretty good, huh? So this bad boy, all right, is gonna be the base to our seasoning mix, and uh, it actually smells really good. It actually smells very Thanksgivingy, very Thanksgivingy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add all the spices here mix them all together and then we're gonna season the bird I'm just gonna do a regular seasoning on this guy and then I'm gonna put them away in the fridge and then I'm gonna cook them later because it's just a bird it's still early in the day um, it only takes a few hours to cook and um, yeah we'll do that as a matter of fact I forgot this oven takes a while I might I might get this guy started all right so as I was saying I think I should preheat the oven because this thing's gonna take a while to get hot so let me show you how we turn this baby on all right so we got the oven here, all right? I'm gonna lift this thing. All right. And then this is the, the pilot type thing. Now I was supposed to get a new one of these. This thing's, you know, out of gas, but hey, whatever. Make shit happen no matter what. All right, here we go. So, ready? Don't get it, please. No, I can smell the gas already. That was, that's a good sign, right? Zoom in on that. Here, let me show you. Look at that. I got the get the oven going. All right, so now what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna pop this baby back in here. I'm gonna preheat that oven. All right, we got that at set at I guess five, right? I mean, by the way, look, I cleaned this baby for you guys, right? So you guys don't think I'm a pig. More of a pig than what I already am. All right, so let's see. And you can feel it. Oh, you can feel it getting hot. Right, let's do, let's let this uh, preheat. All right, so uh, back to the sheeking. Hey, how's it going? My my camera woman for the day. All right, so let's get back to the sheeking. All right, so back to seasoning this bad boy. So as I was saying, just adding some herb. A la Italiana. So here, I guess let me read you the ingredients. It's oregano, majorum, thyme, uh, sage, a little bit of basil, some rosemary, and some salvia. I don't know. That's uh, interesting. But anyways, smells Thanksgiving. -y, smells uh, stove toppy. It's gonna do the, the trick. So then now we're gonna add some salt. Very important salt. And this is some chunky salt. Look at this good salt. Got some sea salt. Now we got some black pepper. There's a bunch of that. Black pepper is good. And we got some white pepper. Add some of that. And then that's it. We just mix it up. Now I washed this bird already ahead of time, right? I don't know about all that shit. It says don't wash the bird, don't clean the bird. But anyways, here, here in this house, we we wash that bird. See, we got. We got the salmonella hand, and we got the the dried non-salmonella hand over right here. Let me get this all right home. Now, you know, we're just gonna add some oils, you know, for flavors and for it to stick. Okay, and that's it. We're just gonna rub this oil all over this bad boy. I, I know a lot of people add um, butter. I got a little bit of butter there too. I don't wanna do too much overkill here. All right, and then with the uh, salmonella in, you season this bad boy up. You hear that? That's that chunky, chunky salt. See, a chunky salt, like usually I got I gotta do have a grinder for it, but in this case I wanted to, to use the chunky salt because since this is gonna, you know, cook and bake for a long time, I'm gonna make sure that it takes time to melt and all that stuff, so. Means, you know, the, the salt will start melting off and all that. That's it. Da, 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 da. And, then, and so, you know, the last time <clears throat> I cooked something here, I didn't make a video, but the last time I cooked something, like a bird type thing, I, I put it in a brine. But this time, I don't want to use a brine. I'm, I'm doing this. So it's like a, a lot of different ways to cook. But in this case, you know, um, I know some of you guys might like, oh, hey, uh, how come you're not using a brine? Like, well, because I don't want to use a brine today. It's not always what I, you know, it's every, every day's, uh, it's 
Alright, so look. There's a lot of chunky salt here. I'm gonna put that stuff in there. Alright. And then we got a little bit of leftover butter. So, just because, why not? We're just gonna crack this, it's still cold. And just stick a little bit on the hair, on the skin. You already know the deal. Trying to use, do one hand, trying to keep one hand. Salmonella's freeze. But yeah, just stick it in here in the breast scissors. Because the breasts tend to dry out, you know, you already know. Nothing major, just leave it in there. A little chunk of fat. Yeah. Two, yeah, one, yeah. Yeah, let's see, look at that. Okay. Let's see, we got chicken Kiev. All right, guys, so um, my oven, unfortunately, it has no real way for me to gauge the temperature. It's just, you saw, I only have, uh, you know, gauges one through five. I don't have uh, 350 degrees, 500 degrees, I don't got anything like that. So, since I'm not really sure what the temperature of my oven is, I have to kind of like play it by ear. Now, as you guys can see, look at the nice, beautiful bird that we have here. I don't want this bad baby to burn. I want this guy to slow cook and I want this guy to, you know, do its thing. Now, a lot of people would say, hey, why don't you tie the things? How come you're leaving it like that? You know why? Because I just want it to cook. You know, I'm not really, um, you know, that's the way I'm gonna make my bird, all right? But anyway, so a trick, a major trick that you can do in order to make your sure that your bird never burns and you get that nice, perfect uh, brown, you know, golden look to your bird is that you get some aluminum foil, all right? And you wrap it up, wrap it up. That's it, you know, very simply. You know, just give this guy like a little bit of a, you see? Here, zoom in there. All right, there you go. Just give the guy a little bit of a cover, you see? All right. And so what that's gonna do is that that is gonna prevent this guy from burning. Because he'll cook and he'll cook, but he would, like, the skin won't burn. And that's it, we're just gonna cook this guy away. Let's see, look, let's zoom in, let's see. Yeah, look at that. All right, guy, good luck in there. We'll see you later. So yeah, what we're gonna do now is I'm just gonna slow cook it. And um, once it's done, I'll just take that cover off and um, I'll let it sit for a little bit and then um, I'll put it back in the oven in order to get that brown crisp and then that's it, it's ready to eat. We're good to go. So I have, uh, I, I, I limited in my, uh, items that I'm going to be cooking in the oven because again as you saw I have, I have limited space so I only have space for one thing at a time so um, later on I'm going to be taking the chicken out and I'm replacing it with the apple cobbler that I'm going to be making over here later on okay we're going to watch that and do that together so all right well without further ado I'll see you guys uh, the next thing let me see I think uh, I think it might be stuffing time or it might be apple cobbler time I don't know you'll see in a second Actually, it wasn't the apple cobbler or the stuffing that we gotta get to next. It's the sweet potato. So what we're gonna do with this guy is that we're gonna roast the sweet potato. So step one, you get the sweet potato and uh, stick it in the oven. Step two, you let it roast. Step three, you get the chicken and you put it back in the oven because uh, you gotta cook it because you have to take it out in order to do the stunt. So as you guys can see, we're taking step number one. We're washing the apples. Yeah, look, hardcore, look at that. So we're washing the apples because we're keeping the skins on them and then we're gonna slice them up and we're gonna get them ready and we're gonna put them in this uh, dish right here. All right, we're gonna fill this baby up and we're gonna make an apple cobbler. So she's taking care of that. Over here, I'm heating up this pan because we're gonna get the st stuffing uh, situation started. So. And we're here filming here with one hand, cooking with one hand. So we're going to throw a little oil in there, okay? Just a little bit, not too much. A little olive oil, all right? I, I like to cook with um, 
we like good fats, okay? So I use either coconut oil or I'll use, you know, extra virgin olive oil. In this case, you know, extra virgin olive oil because I like it because it uh, gives good flavor. All right, we got the ground beef. Let's take it over here. One hand to cooking at its finest. So, so we're going to add some of that spice. That Thanksgiving spice that we bought. And some of that. We got some, this is pretty lean meat, okay? That's some spice. Old spice? <laughs> no old spice. <laughs> we got some salt. That same salt we used earlier. We just got in the salt shaker. And some black pepper. And that's it, we're just gonna mix all this stuff up together. Beautiful. Mm. So the ground beef I'm cooking there is uh, part of uh, the base for the stuffing I'm gonna be making. Um, which is gonna have other things like onions and all these other goodies like uh, you know the raisins and the nuts and the bread and the spices and all that other good stuff but you know we only uh, we're gonna be cooking everything step by step okay so step one the beef so now over here we got sauteing the onions the apples and a little bit of garlic with some of those uh, yummy Thanksgiving spices and a little bit of salt and then we got the nuts and the uh, cranberries and the and the raisins and all that stuff and we're gonna throw that in there all right we're gonna saute it a little bit a little bit yum 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 we got the ground beef over here waiting it looks all right not bad I think it's all right we'll find out tomorrow anyways and then that's it we're gonna mix all this together saute it down a little further and then once we saute this down we'll mix it with that with the ground beef and then uh, we'll you know, we'll, we'll, that's the base of the stuffing, and then the rest is, you already know, it's just the bread and the water, the liquid, so we'll do that later. So basically now, we'll, what we're gonna do, see, it's just toast, okay? Just break it up. the stuffing I'm gonna bring that over here we're gonna use this all right we're gonna add some more of these spices we got this cooking down over here we're gonna mix it all together Alright guys, so right now I'm doing the topping. I don't really have an exact recipe because I'm kind of just like eyeball eyeballing this or whatever, but in here, I got flour, all right? I got a little bit of cinnamon, I got brown sugar, I have a little bit of baking powder, all right? And a little bit of salt. Um, we got the butter here, and we got a little bit of cream. Now, we don't have um, any heavy cream out here. All we have is um, the Mexican crema, so we're just gonna use that. And then that's it, I'm just gonna mix all this together, all right? I don't have a food processor, so I kind of gotta have to do this by hand. You know, kind of like a little bit hard, softened butter. And then that's it, just mix it all together. Try to make the crumble. And that's it, easy peasy. And then add the, the cream. We got, uh, added half the cream, then added all the cream. This cream's all right, you know, it tastes, you know, cream. And that's it. We're just mixing it all up. Let me get some more flour up in here. Grab it, huh? Mama, mama, mama. Okay. It was getting a little too, too wet. Sí, debe 
de quedar. Uh -huh. No sé. Apple crisp. Mmm, that shit looks fucking good. Mmm. What do you guys think? She's asking me, he's like, oh, is that how it's supposed to look? I don't know, you guys tell me, what do you guys think? This is our first apple crisp ever. All right, guys, so we're about to swap the chicken for the cobbler, all right? We've uh, been cooking the chicken um, pretty much like a medium heat. I don't know, again, there's no degrees here. I don't have like 350 degrees or anything. Um, for two hours. So I've been cooking the bird for two hours. And I got this sweet potato in here. Let's check it out. Look at that. All right, I, can, I think we're done here. All right, so we're done with that sweet potato. All right, here we go. Let's check this guy out. All right. How does it smell? Mm. It looks all right. It looks pretty good. So again, you know, later on, what we're gonna do is just finish cooking it without the, this uh, thing here. And then we'll get that golden brown look. But right now, at least, you know, we got, we know it's pretty cooked. It looks cooked, smells cooked, feels cooked. All right. So now we're gonna set this baby aside and we're gonna stick this guy in here. Now I put some aluminum foil. All right, this is like hood cooking all day. So again, you know, um, <laughs> I put some aluminum foil on the bottom of this thing so in case there's some spillover it can this this still catch it you know because unfortunately I don't have like a cookie sheet you know to put under it so um, that's just to help with the cleaning of the mess so now we're gonna stick this guy in the oven okay okay let's uh say my suck at this right? <laughs> try it again Yeah, it's definitely better with a cookie sheet. <laughs> Hopefully that'll, okay, that'll keep it from. And that's it, we're gonna cook this baby in there. Bye. <laughs> All right, so now that the sweet potato's cooked, we're gonna get this sucker and uh, we're gonna peel it. Now it's hot, hot as hell. So you gotta be careful. But this is the best time to, right, hold on, we're gonna, I'm gonna cut myself here. This is the best time to do it. Wow. Yeah, she's like, it looks like a pumpkin. Good. Yummy, yummy sweet potato. So at least we got the sweet potato cooked and then I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with this. Oof, it's hot. <laughs> All right, so what I finally decided to do with this is I'm gonna make just a quick uh, sweet potato mash and then I'm just gonna set that aside and then we'll just reheat it later um, because I need this pan to make other things in it. So first ingredient is add a little bit of salt. Now let's add an egg yolk. Now let's add a little bit of vanilla. Tiny bit of that cream. Sugar. All right, so we got everything all mixed up and tasting wonderful. And now we're gonna add some butter. All right, a little softened butter that I have over here. Ooh, tastes good. This is, we're just gonna cook this a little bit. sweet potato casserole on the stove top. Also guys, I forgot, 
we got some mixed vegetables to go with the whole meal. We gotta add some vegetables to the meal, right? All right, so over here we have all the ingredients for the stuffing. So we're gonna put this on the heat. You know, it's just hard to see. It's nighttime already, as you guys can see. All right, so we got the onion soup. I'm gonna toss that in. I'm gonna get some water to go with that, all right? All right, we got the water. And now we're gonna mix it all up, all right? Got a winner. And over here, see I'm working on this. I know it's hard to see, but we're just working on uh, adding uh, all that bread to the stuffing, I'm trying to make that, that stuffing on the stove top. Stove top stuffing, Jose style. Still got more bread to add. Yummy, yummy. And now we're gonna add some butter. That's it, that should be, we're gonna just keep cooking it until, you know, it gets to stuffing consistency and we'll be good. All right guys, so now um, we're gonna check on the apple cobbler. It smells done, I think it's done. So let's check it out. Ready, here we go. Ooh. It smells delicious, oh! Wow! Hell oh, yeah, all right, I think I'm gonna need two. Está burbujeando. Cuidado, ten mucho cuidado, Be careful. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so how does it look? How does it look? It looks delicious. It looks amazing, huh? How does it look? Woo, como un éxito. All right, so now we're going to get this thing in here. Here you go, Mrs. Camerographer. So now we're going to stick this thing in there, back in the... Cook this motherfucker to... So now we're gonna just, you know, cook it in there for as long as possible, and then we're just gonna take the cover off when it's done, and that's it. All right, look at this magnificent bird. All nice and yummy and crusty. All right, so we got that. We got the mac and cheese, you know, the whack and cheese. Wackily do. Oh shit. You got fireworks outside. We got <laughs> mashed potatoes in here. We got the vegetables. <laughs> you got the gravy. We got the, they can't see it back there, but the stuffing is fucking phenomenal. We got the fireworks. And we got the, right? We got that right? What, what timing with that, with the fireworks? I guess they were, you know, hey, for reals, they know that we got Thanksgiving out here coming. And they just, you know, they're celebrating with us. That's right, these are Thanksgiving fireworks. <laughs> so yeah, you know, um, look, even the dogs are all barking. But yeah, guys, so we're about to eat. Um, 
And then we put the cobbler inside the oven um, while it, you know, so it can stay warm. It can keep warm while we eat. So, all right, this is kind of hot. Let's get the table set. And uh, all right, I'll see you when uh, we set the table. Let's set that table. All right, look at this Thanksgiving spread. Thanksgiving 2019 out here in uh, Merida, Mexico. So what do you think? Get to be for your first uh, Thanksgiving dinner. I'm impressed. All right. So, all right, now we're going to have our Thanksgiving dinner. I hope you guys are getting ready to have your Thanksgiving dinner. hope you guys are enjoying your day as well. And, um, yeah, we're going to eat, and then uh, we'll catch with you guys after we eat, all right? After we stuff our bellies, all right? We'll do a quick, uh, you know, a status update, Oof. all right? I told her it's an eating holiday. You have to eat a lot. She loves it, right? You're excited? Yeah. See. Sí. Okay. I'm excited too. I'm hungry as hell. So, all right. Um, well, without further ado, we're going to eat, and then we'll get back with you with a full review, right? A full food review. <laughs> Look at that Thanksgiving spread. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. How's it look? Is it good? Nice. All right. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> I've already had it. It's really good stuff. Yummy, yummy. Mm. Wish you guys were here. You know. Wish I got. I wish I was there with you guys to have Thanksgiving dinner. Wait. You know what? We're having Thanksgiving dinner together. All right. Woo. All right. I'm starving. Let's get. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of drunk and high. <laughs> <laughs> the usual. Hey, but it's nice to get in. You know, we had a great time. All right, we're gonna eat now. Bye. <laughs> Look, this is her first Thanksgiving food coma. <laughs> All right, she's like, "What's happening to me? I don't understand. I can't get off the couch." And I'm like, "Oh, you got a Thanksgiving food coma." So now, see, we have this over here. So we're we're gonna wait a little bit, you know, to process the food. All right, we'll smoke out a little bit, right? Hopefully, it'll. Uh, give us a little bit of munchie so we can have some dessert. And uh, yeah, I mean, I hope you guys are having a ha happy, happy Thanksgiving over there. It's I hope it's just as funny and wonderful and awesome. We're having a great old fucking time over here. Woof! Fucking stuffed. For reals. I'm beyond stuffed myself. You? How you doing? Fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> you know, food coma, huh? You can't even talk, huh? No, yeah, Where am I? Is it where am I? <laughs> where am I? <laughs> Look at that bad boy. All right, well, I'm gonna finish this off. She's gonna have a bite because uh, she's already half passed out. She can't eat anymore. And uh, we're gonna call it an end to our night. It's uh, you know been a long, long, happy, happy Thanksgiving. And uh, that's it, we're gonna call it here. So guys, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Please hit that bell icon and uh, please enjoy your Thanksgiving, How, however you celebrate it. Thanks again for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, me and Lambo are still here. Show's not over. Just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder to please check out the online store where you can find all kinds of awesome merch. Also, check out joseatiaga.com where, you know, it's the website for me and all this other stuff. So also, you know, check out Discord. It's an online community in which everyone, all my fans, hang out. Again, just, you know, look at the, click at the link in the bottom description of every video here um, where you can just join the community and join and continue the conversation where we talk about, you know, all this and beyond. So please, don't forget to check us out there. Check me out on Instagram, check me out on Twitter, check me out everywhere. In fact, always look at the description of every video. You can find all kinds of stuff at the bottom of the description of every video. Again, I'm always giving you all kinds of goodness. So, you know, whether you're checking the description of the video or whether you're watching the next video, which you're gonna see some here now, you're gonna have all kinds of fun. So again, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys when you.